Vernissage TV is in Zurich today. We have the galleries opening and we are here at Mark Müller's gallery. And I am Miss Sabina Baumann. Hello, Sabina. Hello. Her exhibition, Death of, a, of the Cool, has opened tonight. And Sabina, can you tell us about the exhibition? Uh, the title is um, um, quoting a song of um, Miles Davis, uh, Birth of the Cool. And uh, it kind of symbolizes um, the, the breakdown or the, the areas over, these areas over. And another started or is happening, yes. And also the, it's uh, a Mondrian quote, quote, the insulation in the other room. And a Mondrian also was talking about jazz in his work. In the first room we have uh, pencil paintings where you show the audience stones which are standing for human bodies and Sabina Baumann made a lot of things with these stones or human bodies. Uh, it's a juxtaposition of uh, quotes of fashion and style that are very short, uh, have a short life. Uh, uh, contrasting the stones that are forever and this makes the, the stylings absurd and also there are different attributes on each stone that usually don't are not on the same body so it's kind of um, a strange bodies and strange identities through these um, accessoires yes and we are standing here in in front of a picture which is called I am what am I Sabina you choose this picture which is especially important for you yes because um, it's a it's a question it is it's a question since ever that what is um, what is this self is it just it's are we just like a box of uh, thoughts of other people that's kind of what we are like we, we come here and then everybody throws something in this box and that's what we are and what's I mean what, what is this? <laughs> you seems to be influenced by films as well we saw in one picture Marvin from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy so uh, it's not that I'm a specially film interested person I mean I look a lot but um, Marvin was just this uh, per this um, uh, character that uh, is, uh, I liked it because it's a depressed computer that, and I, I, can't, um, I put him in front of a beard, a white beard that is like kind of a stereotype of wisdom, this wise old man or something like that, but then it's like this dead piece and he watches, he looks at it and this depressive mood um, is meant to, yeah, that I wanted him to watch. We have here on the left side a lot of masks with different noses. Sabina, for me it looks it looks a little bit like masks of Commedia del Arte with different yes. noses. Um, yeah, it's this organ that stands for intuition and it's the only organ that still works and everything else is uh, shut down by these um, forms. Um, and Commedia dell'arte or some religious place or some mythological um, association could appear, it's seven masks. So this stands somehow for the irrational and uh, how, yeah, it stands kind of for this anachronistic time uh, today that um, religion becomes more important and we feel like uh, this whole um, belief in um, innovation and chronology of the time and so on, that we can't believe it anymore. And we feel like this, this irrational, um, that we ha all have is is causing problems because we want uh, we don't accept it as um, this very big power that it is very dangerous also.
on the other wall we, s we can see a very rational um, piece which could remind somebody to Mondrian's work or to constructive works. Yeah, to modernist and constructive works. Yeah, right. It seems to be half architecture, but because the red, yellow and blue is black and it's only on the bottom, it's, makes, it's like a landscape. It becomes a landscape. So you have on one hand uh, this association maybe of architecture, but on the other hand, landscape. Edith Oderbolz was chosen by Sabina Baumann and the concept of Mark Müller's gallery is always like that, that one of his artists shows a second artist, uh, sometimes newcomer, um, who is presented as well in the rooms of Mark Müller's gallery. And Edith, um, we are here in a room where on the left hand side uh, one can see a constructive work and on the other side of the walls, we can see a curtain, which um, could be in a theater, which could be at home. Edith, can you tell us uh, in some words about your exhibition? Um, yeah, the start of my work is always kind of uh, daily material, like here, the curtains or the white uh, pictures. It's uh, this uh, play wood or very cheap material. And then, uh, yeah, I kind of try to figure out how we um, live with them, how they affect our daily life, and uh, try to transform it into a new piece and to set up a new dialogue. The idea comes from the curtain that we use at home and there's a layer between outside, inside, our privacy and uh, it's kind of we decide what we want to hide or what we want to um, uh, be viewed from outside and, uh, and then my, um, yeah, I choose this cutting into the fabric to kind of open up that topic between private and public. We didn't talk much because what I saw from Edith was kind of, to me it seemed to be like a demolished um, modernist, modernist pieces that have a, but another poetry than mine. But I thought it fits together, but we didn't talk much and it's amazing how well it fits together. Okay, <laughs> so we wish both of you good luck for the exhibition and good luck for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.